Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Congressman Tom Rooney here to give you an update as to what happened this week in Congress. Today, the House of Representatives passed the National Defense Authorization Act, better known as the NDAA. The most important job of Congress laid out in the Constitution is to provide for a common defense. This bill is an important step in repairing the damage that's been done after nearly a half decade of cuts, which have driven military readiness to abysmal levels. The bill includes an amendment that I authored to ensure that service members with traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder are given a fair consideration during military separation. With tens of thousands of our nation's troops and veterans suffering from invisible wounds like TBI and PTSD, we need to do our due diligence to ensure all service branches policies are consistent with the Department of Defense. This week, the House also passed three bills to combat human trafficking, bringing us to a total of 16 bills passed this Congress to combat this horrible crime. These bills invest crucial funding in programs to train law enforcement officers to detect, prevent, and combat human trafficking in the U.S. and globally. The size and scope of this investment expresses the swift action that is needed to end this pandemic of modern day slavery. Human trafficking impacts every region of our country and has no place in this society. With the passing of these bills, the House has shown our commitment to help victims and punish traffickers. And finally this week, the House Appropriations Committee, of which I am a member, passed a number of bills out of the committee which will come before the House in a few weeks. The Agriculture, Energy and Water, Commerce, Justice and Science, and Financial Services bills have all passed out of the committee this week. The work of the Appropriations Committee to meticulously write these bills and decide how every penny of federal taxpayer dollars are spent is something that I'm proud to be a part of. I work diligently to ensure that funding is included that will help Florida and make our community better. For example, I secured $53.8 million for the USDA's Citrus Health Response Program, better known as CHIRP, in the Agriculture Bill, in an effort to combat citrus screening. In the Energy and Water Bill, I secured $82 million to fund the repairs of the Herbert Hoover Dyke around Lake Okeechobee. In the Commerce, Justice, and Science Bill, I secured $439.5 million for the COPS program, which promotes collaboration between police departments and local communities. And finally, in the Financial Services Bill, I secured $120 million for the Small Business Development Center program, which helps Florida small businesses thrive. I look forward to when these bills come to the House floor for final passage in the coming weeks. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this message, and I hope you and your families have a great weekend.